सो नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक थ्योरी फॉर द डेसिपेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन अ सिंपल पेंडुलम नाउ लेट अस गो to the procedure through which you will find out the variables what uh, precautions you need to take what measurements you need to take and how will you reach to the final conclusion so now let us discuss the procedure of this particular experiment so procedure is very simple first of all you need to measure the length so we the length uh, measure the length right so the when you measure the length so basically the setup is very simple you have uh, a string the string has length l and then you have a ball which is connected to this string via some hook this ball this is the hook and uh, you also need to measure the diameter of this ball using the screw gauge or vernier per caliper whatever you have so from that diameter you will also have the radius now remember in our understanding we will always make sure the length must be measured from the top most point to the center of the bob this is the first precaution don't just measure the length of the string only the string length is only up to here but you have to add this diameter of that ball also to get the exact value now this has to be generally we assume this this total l which is l plus a small r it must be 100 cm plus minus delta l whatever the least count so remember we always try to make sure that this has to be 100 cm why because then it will become then it will become second pendulum with time period 2 seconds so that is the first thing we do we'll make sure we can adjust this string right this is a cotton string we can adjust this length so that the distance between this the end the center of the bob and the top hinge must not be less or more than 100 that is the first thing you do in your experiment so that every oscillation every complete oscillation will be of 2 seconds and it will be easy to calculate to relate right so for example suppose it can uh, it uh, does 10 oscillations so every oscillation will contribute to 2 second 10 oscillations will contribute to 20 second and so and so on. the second thing is you always you fix the the second is you fix a scale just below it you fix a scale i am drawing the scale on both sides this is a special scale and you make sure this it matches with the zero of this scale so when this is not oscillating when it is just hanging it is not vibrating it is just hanging stand still then the point just below this bob should be the mark zero of the scale and then there will be further marks like this on the scale this is a centimeter scale i'm assuming so this is 0 then this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 generally we don't take big oscillations we generally keep amplitude small i am taking it up to 5 on both side of course 1 2 3 4 so these two things must be observed first the distance l has to be 100 cm it has to measured from this is the first precaution and second the scale below this pendulum should match the zero of this scale should match the vertical position of the pendulum when it is at rest now second now displace or third now displace the pendulum slightly right word so how much 
much slightly generally i have seen in schools they generally say five about five centimeter we want we don't want a higher displacement we want a small displacement because you know in the derivation of time period many assumptions were used sin theta was taken as theta so you just displace slightly the length was 100 just displaced by 5 centimeter not more and observe and release and when you release that time has to be zero so basically what you have done is this is your simple pendulum you have displaced this by 5 centimeter this was the scale this was 0 this was 1 2 3 4 5 and at this moment you have marked this as 0 and this was your amplitude initial a naught is 5 centimeter now what you will do you will just observe here so as this you release this this pendulum will start oscillating it will go up to here but you don't need to observe just observe here only just observe here so next time so after few oscillations now you make a table where it will have a time and then you have a a and then you have a, a square so initially the time is 0, the amplitude is 5 and the square of amplitude will be 25. Now you will wait for let's say 2 or 4 oscillations. Let's say this is number of oscillations. So initially there were 0 oscillation times 0 amplitude was initial amplitude is 5. Let's say after 10 oscillations. So you are waiting, you are waiting for it to go and go and uh, generally it take a finite time, it, it take quite a time. So after 10 oscillation, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So after 10 oscillation means your stop clock will be showing 20 and you will find that your pendulum is not, now, is not able to reach at its maximum 5 it has decreased slightly just for example after 10 oscillation let us say it is reaching at 4 so now as due to the dissipation of energy the amplitude of this the maximum displacement of this will slightly start decreasing for example i'm just taking for example it will become 4 after 20 so the u square it will become 16 then further again after again now next 10 oscillations means total 20 you know the time period is 2 seconds don't forget we are talking about seconds pendulum so every oscillation is 2 seconds so after 20 oscillations your stop clock will be showing 40 seconds and let's say now this time the amplitude has further decreased the amplitude has further decreased to I am just taking an example. Now the amplitude has reduced to 3. So you will observe here that after 10 it will around it will reach around 3. So it will see in square this 9. And so and so on you will keep doing until you get 1 centimeter. After 30 seconds let's say it will have a 60 seconds time. This will be in seconds of course. It will reduce to 2. 4. And then after 40 oscillations, let's say 80 seconds, it will reduce to 1, 1. So basically, this is how you will make the table or the table will be given to you in your exam. So now you plot the graph. So I, I hope you understood. You will, uh, you will observe the maximum amplitude each time it reaches on the right end and you measure the time after every 10 20 30 and 40 oscillations so when you draw the graph of time versus a square this is the graph of a square versus time of course it will start from 25 when the time is 0 and the time 
and then 25 to then it will be decreases to 16 then 9 then 4 then 1 so your graph will be let's say this is this will start at here then here then here then here then here you will just find these dots at these points and just join these dots like this so it almost verifies hence proved hence verified that energy or the square of amplitude versus t it decreases exponentially decreasing graph all right i hope you understood the basic concept the basic theory the procedure now the important thing what kind of questions may come from these so let's solve few good problems and you will understand whatever will be coming from it is very obvious my dear students it's very simple just remember the basic concept exponential decrement and how do we measure the amplitudes using experiment